Greetings, this is Kevin Tracy, host of ktracy.com. Today I want to take a moment to show you how I draw the backgrounds of the MS Paint comic. Um, it's a very laborious process. The video itself that you're watching actually took me three hours and 16 minutes to completely do. So I've shortened this down for your sake into a six minute, three second video. So uh, here I am. Uh, coloring in the shelves of, we're at the Blockbuster here, the, the top three frames. Um, you, you remember Blockbuster, it's an old uh, place where people used, used to go to watch movies uh, that were no longer in theaters anymore. Uh, that's where we are. So this is this is Blockbuster, I'm creating the shelves, we're going to add some movies to the shelves here in a little bit. Um, we got to create the ambience of the store, so you got to get the rugs, the colors, the desk, the windows in the background facing outside of the parking lot. Um, all that stuff that you don't know what I'm talking about if you're under the age of probably 20, maybe even 25. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, here I am drawing the uh, movie cases in here now. You can tell I'm not actually using a uh, vanishing point to kind of create the perspective. This, a lot of this really is kind of eyeballing it just because um, it, it's, it's not critical. Uh, we're not, the vanishing point isn't on the actual frame, so therefore I'm not going to worry too much about the vanishing point. It's different if the vanishing point is on the frame. Uh, so anyways, yeah, there's a lot of copy, there's, there's a lot of copy paste involved with this, but as you're about to see, uh, that, that, that's the easy part. The, the hard part and is, uh, when you start putting that detail into the comic. So, you know, first I'm going to create all these blocks, which are just pretty much a template to show how, uh, or where I'm going to be drawing the movies, you know, for my own sake. And so everything looks all nice and organized when it's all said and done. You remember back then, they used to have like the movie uh, cover on the uh, front of the shelf, and then behind it, there would be uh, two movies behind it. So here are my, some of my favorite movies. Uh, Zero Effect was a fantastic movie uh, starring Bill Pullman. It's one of the few Ben Stiller movies that I actually enjoyed, and that's mostly because he wasn't really in it. He was kind of a minor character. Nobody really knew he was a douchebag at the time, and uh, they kind of gave him a chance, and they really wish they shouldn't have. Uh, this is West Side Story, uh, another fantastic movie. It taught me all I know about gang life in Gary. It's how I survived the streets. The only problem is that I can't snap my fingers. Honestly, God, I cannot snap my fingers. I don't understand what's wrong with me. I just, I try, but I just kind of get this thud sound, and it doesn't quite look right. Patton was a fantastic movie, by the way. Um, no snapping fi fingers in that movie, I don't think. Um, of course, Patton's kind of got a half-assed loot going on there, but that's okay because it's such a small scale that no, I don't think anybody's going to notice it. Uh, what other movies do we got here? Oh, Little Mermaid. My niece loved this movie, but in all honesty, this is a terrible movie for little girls. I mean, it, first of all, it says that, hey, you're 16 years old. You're old enough to go out and find a man and run away from home and get rewarded for it at the end. And then on top of that, if that's not bad enough, encouraging you know kids to be you know victims of pedophiles, on top of that, it's also sending the message of, hey, little girl, it's okay that you don't want to be what you say you are. Or what what you know you know you're supposed to be. It's okay, you know. If somebody wants you to be something else, you can be something else for that person. It's okay to change everything about yourself, including your species. All right. So, anyways, this is Metropolis. This is unfortunate because this video actually gets cut out by uh, Kevin's knee when I put the foreground on top of it. Uh, Citizen Kane. This one came out pretty nice. I thought this is actually uh, going to be on the uh, Kevin. Kevin's uh, bedroom wall in the comic. Uh, you see this in the Christmas comic for those of you who have it. Okay. And we got Ghostbusters up there too. One and two the other great movies. Uh, okay. What are we doing here? Ooh, The Temptress. This is one of my favorite silent movies. Um, it, it's a drama about the uh, Greta Garbo is the Temptress, um, if you couldn't guess. And she uh, goes to Argentina where she kind of follows, kind of stalks a guy actually. Uh, down there, who's leading a dam project, and there's this whip fight with some banditos, and they're fighting with whips in the in like a, in a big circle, and it was pretty awesome actually. Uh, I'm supposed to see more whip fighting um, in movies today, so that was really cool. Okay, so I'm just drawing some random movie covers here because they're most of these are going to be pretty much blocked by uh, the foreground. So here you see me drawing your, your typical background, just like the lines like that. Um, I, that's for when backgrounds aren't really that important, but I have to have something back there. Okay, now we're going to draw the background for the flashback to why uh, they no longer watch kung fu movies on movie night at ktracy.com. This is not a true story, although it would be really freaking awesome if it was, except for the fact that I get punched in the face. That part could be left out. I'm all right with that. 
So yeah, just drawing some chairs. And you see what I did is I, I used the foreground, got rid of all the colors in the foreground, got rid of a lot of the lines, and just started drawing using that as the reference uh, for everything that's to come. This is pretty cool to watch this in slow-mo, or fast mode, I guess. I love pattern stuff. It's, there's so many patterns that I use, it's unbelievable. And they're all very time-consuming, just like this. This is pretty cool as it is, right? But now watch. I get rid of all the lines in there, and it, it makes it look even prettier. But I probably didn't have to do this, but it just adds that extra element of, wow, he took his time with this. And here we are drawing a uh, picture. I actually bought a painting similar to this. It's in my living room right now um, of a creek. And it's actually pretty neat what they did. The artist, uh, he he used um, like clay or um, spackle, I guess, maybe, to actually create 3D images out of the trees and some of the uh, rocks and stones and stuff. So it actually looks like a 3D image almost on the, uh, on the painting itself. So that's page 11 of the MS Paint Comic Volume 2. If you enjoyed that, I highly encourage you to check out the MS Paint Comic Volume 1, which takes place in 2004. I just finished it earlier this year. Uh, it's available at ktracy.com, so go check it out.